part six of my spring fling garden. Getting started on round 29, we would have joined with a slip stitch to this beginning triple crochet. And that's the stitch we're going to start working in for this round. We have a repeat for this round. Getting started on that, we need to work a small puff in the next three triple crochets. So if you're carrying up your yarn, you can start with a chain, or I'm working a standing small puff. So we're going to insert our hook into the stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, insert into that same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through four loops on your hook. So that's our first one. We need to work a small puff in the next two triple crochets. Next we're going to work a small puff v-stitch in that next triple crochet. To do that work a small puff chain one and then small puff in that same triple crochet. That's the small puff v-stitch. Now we're going to work a small puff in the next four stitches. So there's one small puff. And then two. Three. And then we're working the fourth in that single crochet. In the chain 2 space, we're going to work two small puffs. So there's one. And then two. We're going to work a small puff in the next seven stitches. So there's one. two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. In that next chain two space, we're going to work two small puffs. So there's one, and then two. Work a small puff in that next single crochet. And that's the repeat. I'll show you again. Getting started on that repeat, we're going to work a small puff in the next three triple crochets. There's one, two, and then three. In that next triple crochet, we're going to work a small puff V stitch. So we're working that small puff, chain one, and then small puff in that same stitch. We're going to work a small puff in the next four stitches. So there's one, two, three, and then four finishing in that single crochet. In that chain two space, we're working two small puffs. 
There's one. And then two. Small puff in the next seven stitches. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And then seven. In that next chain two space, work two small puffs. There's one. Two, and then finish the repeat with that small puff in the single crochet. So I've done that twice. Continue repeating that around six more times and I'll meet you when you're done. Here we are at the end of the round. I just finished my last repeat and for this one we can join with a slip stitch to our beginning small puff and we can fasten off this yarn. That completes this round of work. Getting started on round 30, you would have joined with a slip stitch in this fourth small puff to the right of that chain space. So we're going to be working in this one to start. This is a pretty easy round. If you're carrying up your yarn, you can start with a chain one. And originally my pattern had back post half double crochets when I worked front post half double crochets. So I'm going to do those front post half double crochets starting with a standing half double crochet. And we're going to be working a front post half double crochet in each small puff around. And then when you get to that chain one space, so one more, and then we're at the chain one space, we are going to work a half double crochet V stitch in there. So half double crochet, chain one, and then half double crochet in that same chain space. So that's what we're doing all the way around. This is, like I said, a pretty easy round. Working that front post half double crochet in each puff. And you should have a total of 21 front post half double crochets between your V stitches. So continue repeating that around. Front post half double crochet in each small puff and the half double crochet V stitch in the chain space and I'll meet you when you're done. Here we are at the end of the round. To finish off we can join with a slip stitch to that beginning half double crochet and that completes this round of work. If you're going to be carrying up the yarn you're going to want to slip stitch in the next two stitches or you can get started on the next round. Getting started on round 31, we're going to be working in the third half double crochet to the right of our chain space. So in the corner here we have that chain space. One, two, three. Working in that stitch is where we're going to start the round. We're going to get started on the repeat for the round, which is to work a half double crochet V stitch in that half double crochet. So I'm working a standing half double crochet. If you're carrying up your yarn you can start with a chain one and a half double crochet. Chain one and then half double crochet in that same stitch for our half double crochet V stitch. We're going to skip the next two stitches and then working in that chain space work a half double crochet V stitch. So half double crochet, chain one, and then half double crochet in that same stitch. Chain one, 
and then work a half double crochet V stitch in that same chain space. So half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in that same stitch. We have a little repeat that we need to do a total of six times. We're going to skip two half double crochets, one, two, working in the next, a half double crochet V stitch. So half double crochet, chain one, and then half double crochet in that same stitch. So that's the little repeat. We need to do it a total of six times. We're going to skip the next two stitches, working in the next, a half double crochet V stitch. So half double crochet, chain one, and half double crochet in that same stitch. So I've done that twice. Skip two, a half double crochet V stitch in the next, half double crochet, chain one, and then half double crochet in that same stitch. So I've done that three times. Do it three more times and I'll meet you when you're done. I just finished my last repeat and you'll see we have one, two, three, four, five, six half double crochet V stitches along our edge there. We're going to skip the next two stitches and that's the repeat for this round. So I've done it once, I'll show you again. We're going to work a half double crochet V stitch. So half double crochet and then chain one half double crochet in that same stitch for our half double crochet V stitch. We're going to work a half double crochet V stitch in the chain space. We have to skip those two half double crochets. So half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in that same chain space. Chain one, and then work a half double crochet V stitch in that same chain space half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Now we have that little repeat that we need to do a total of six times. We're going to skip two half double crochets working in the next, a half double crochet V stitch. So half double crochet, chain one, and then half double crochet. Repeat that five more times. Skip two, half double crochet v-stitch in the next and I will meet you when you're done. I just finished that little repeat so I have six half double crochet v-stitches. We're going to skip the next two half double crochets and that's the repeat for the round. Continue repeating that around six more times and I'll meet you when you're done. Here we are at the end of the round. I just finished my last repeat. For this one we can join with a slip stitch to our beginning half double crochet and we can fasten off this yarn or you can carry it up. That completes this round of work. Getting started on round 32, you would have joined right here. If you are carrying up your yarn you can slip stitch in that chain space of your V stitch and start with a chain three for your beginning half double sorry your beginning double crochet and this is an easy round we're going to be working a small pop which is three double crochets so there's one two and then we have three. Draw up a little loop, remove your hook, insert it into that beginning double crochet. Back into your working loop, tighten and draw up a loop. That's the small pop. Now we need to chain three. One, two, three. Now we're going to repeat that all the way around in every single chain space. We are working a small pop. So in the next half double crochet V stitch, we're working three double crochets. One, two, 
two, and then three. Draw up a little loop, remove your hook, insert it into that beginning double crochet, back into your working loop, tighten, and draw up a loop. Chain three. One, two, three. So that's the repeat. Now we're doing that all the way around in every chain space. So remember in that peak we made a chain space between those half double crochet V stitches. We want to work a small pop in there. So three double crochets. There's one. Two. And then three. Draw up a little loop. Remove your hook. Insert it into that beginning double crochet. Back into your working loop. Tighten and draw up a loop. Chain three. One two, three. So continue repeating that around in every chain space working a small pop. Three double crochets. So we've got the three double crochets. We're going to make it a pop. And then chain three. One, two, three. Continue repeating that around. See the corner there? And I'll meet you when you're done. Here we are at the end of the round. I just finished my last repeat. To finish off this round we can join with a slip stitch to that pop right in the back works. And we can fasten off this color that completes this round of work. Getting started on round 33, you can see that we joined in this small pop right here. If you joined in that one, you can start with a chain one. And we're going to get started on the repeat for the round. We need to work a front post single crochet in that small pop. So inserting your hook in the chain before and after, and then working a single crochet. We're going to single crochet in that next chain three space. So nagging on something there. And then we're going to work a half double crochet in the space between our V stitches from round 31. So this green round was round 31. We're working between those V stitches, working right over top of that chain three, a half double crochet. Front post single crochet in the next small pop. Single crochet in the next chain three space. Half double crochet in the chain one space from round 31. And it's the same chain one space that we have this small pop in. So right in here, we're working that half double crochet. Now in the next small pop, we're going to work a front post single crochet V stitch. So front post, insert your hook in the chain space before and after, and then work that single crochet, chain one, and then front post single crochet in that same small pop. That's our single crochet V stitch. Next we're going to work a single crochet in the chain 3 space, half double crochet in that chain space from round 31, the same one that we have the half double crochet in small pop. Now we have a little repeat that we need to do a total of three times. The little repeat is to front post single crochet in the next small pop. single crochet in the chain three space, half double crochet in the space between the V stitches from round 31. So those are the three stitches. We need to do that a total of three times. Front post single crochet in the next pop, single crochet in the chain three space, 
half double crochet in the space between the V stitches from round 31. So I've done that twice, we need to do it one more time. Front post single crochet in the pop, single crochet in the chain 3 space, half double crochet in the space between the V stitches from round 31. Front post single crochet in the next small pop, half double crochet in the spaces between the V stitches from round 31, so right in here, we're working that half double crochet. Now we're going to front post single crochet in the next small pop. Work a half double crochet in the space between the V stitches from round 31. Now we have to do that little repeat again two times. It was to front post single crochet around the next pop, single crochet in the chain three space, and then half double crochet in the space between V stitches from round 31. So there's the little repeat, I've done it once. We need to do it one more time. Front post single crochet in the next pop, single crochet in the chain three space, half double crochet in that space between the V stitches from round 31. So that's the little repeat. I've done it once, I'll show you again. We're going to front post single crochet in the next pop, single crochet in the chain three space, half double crochet in the space between the V stitches from round 31, front post single crochet in the next pop, single crochet in that chain 3 space, half double crochet in the chain space from round 31, the same one as that corner pop. Now in the corner pop, we're going to work a front post single crochet. So insert in your hook before and after that pop, working a single crochet, chain one, and then front post single crochet in that same pop. For our single crochet V-stitch. Next, we have that repeat that we need to do Oh, no, I'm not at the repeat yet, sorry. We're going to single crochet in the chain three space, and then half double crochet in that chain one space from round 31 that has your corner pop in it. Now we have that little repeat that we need to do a total of three times. Front post single crochet in the small pop, single crochet in the chain three space, half double crochet between the V stitches and round 31. So those are the three stitches of the little repeat. I've done it once, we need to do it two more times. Front post single crochet in the pop, single crochet in your chain three space, and then a half double crochet in the V stitch, between the V stitches from round 31. So that's two. Front post single crochet in the next pop, single crochet in the next chain three space, and then half double crochet in those spaces between the V stitches from round 31. Work a front post single crochet in the next pop, half double crochet in the space between the V stitches from round 31, front post single crochet in the next pop, half double crochet in the space between the V stitches from round 31. And now we have that little repeat to do again twice. Front post single crochet in the pop. Oh. Single crochet in the chain three space. Half double crochet in the space between the V stitches from round 31. So there's one. We're going to front post single crochet around the next pop single crochet in the next chain three space, and then half double crochet in that space between your V-stitches. That brings you back to where you started. 
I've done the repeat twice. You can do that six more times and I'll meet you when you're done. I just finished my last repeat. For this round we can join with a slip stitch to our beginning single crochet. Uh, and mine's a little bit of a mess because it's a standing single crochet. So you can join. I'm going to do it off camera because I can't see it on the camera. You can join to that beginning single crochet right here and do not fasten off. Oh, I think I got it because we're going to use this color the next round. That completes this section of work. For more crochet patterns, tutorials, and yarn shop, please visit my blog, dearestdebbie.com.